Bonjour, good morning, Ramland. As you can see, we are still not back in our usual Radio Rams booth. Et je vous demande s'il vous plaît de prendre quelques minutes de votre journée pour regarder notre édition vidéo de Radio Rams. I'm going to start off today by passing it right on over to Mr. St. Marie with some world news. Well, thank you, Zyler. Good morning, Rams. This past week marked the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II in Europe. Queen Elizabeth II addressed the Commonwealth this past Friday at 9 p.m. from Windsor Castle, exactly 75 years to the day and hour from where her father, King George VI, made the original proclamation. Such an event would usually be recognized with grand parades and military ceremonies, but in the season of COVID-19, that will not be the case. And the week ahead marks National Nurses Week across the country where our frontline health care workers are recognized for their life-saving work day in and day out, 24 hours a day. If you have a nurse in your family or as a friend or as a neighbor, take a minute to call them and just say thank you. And the Ontario government announced that it's going to revert back to the previous style of license plates that had the tagline, yours to discover, even though they had a peeling issue after a few years of use. The new blue plates, released in 2019, tagged with a place to grow, were quickly deemed unreadable at night by numerous police forces. With 145,000 new plates made, the government is still deciding how they may be used, possibly on trailers or recreational vehicles. The peeling issue on the old design has been rectified by 3M, the plate manufacturer. Well, with people being at home more and having more time on their hands, some people have started their spring cleaning, others are purging the garage, and if you may be doing some decorating. While well, Toronto musical icon Drake is currently decorating his multi-million dollar mansion and is sparing no expense. He has ordered a new bed at a cost of $392,000 filled entirely with horse hair. I don't think he got it from the brick. It took four people 600 hours to complete it. The 33-year-old bachelor has also built a two-story wardrobe already filled with designer handbags for his future wife. Well, with the mixed weather we've had this week, I found myself getting ready to fill the raised garden I built last week. The bags say they are complimentary, but I still have to pay for them. I can never say no to free lawnmowers, so I've been working on these two. One is destined for the chaplaincy on Southdale Road. And when the snow started flying, there always seemed to be some documents that needed to be shredded. This is bag number five in the past two weeks. I feel like I'm reliving the Watergate trials. Back to you, Zyler, with some Ramland news. Thanks, Mr. St. Marie. Now for some school updates. Miss Dodge, Laurier student success teacher, wants to remind you that she is still available for support during this Learn at Home phase. You can join her Google Classroom using the code LCNL3KI. That's LCNL3KI. And you can also email her anytime to set up a time to chat on the phone, through email, or even in a video chat. She is also available for math support if you need some help with your homework. She misses you all and hopes to hear from you soon. And cyber school registration will open this Friday, May 15th. Students are able to register online from home. This is an important change to note in process due to COVID-19. Students must register themselves for a summer school from home by visiting tvdsb.ca under summer programs and camps. Details will be posted on our Laurier Guidance webpage. Please note, summer school this year will be online only. And did you know Fanshawe College has a virtual open house and that you can schedule a phone or Zoom meeting with one of their program experts? Visit fanshawe.ca for more info. Most Ontario colleges and universities have similar virtual open houses, so if you have questions about post-secondary programs, you can visit many campuses from the comfort of your own home. And finally, if you're looking for a creative outlet during your time at home, why not create some art with an uplifting and inspiring message? Submissions can be drawings, songs, poems, movies, or other art forms. See the TVDSB website for more details under Creative Class. Now, back to Mr. St. Marie. Well, thank you, Zyler. Now it's time to roll the tape back to last week's Name That Tune. Here it is. <laughs> Yes, Ramland, that is none other than the soundtrack to the famous cartoon character, our own Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer, Dudley do -Right. Dudley was a part of the Rocky and Bullwinkle show, which captured many a child's attention in the 1960s as part of their regular Saturday morning routine. And in my case, we watched it in black and white. Dudley was a bubbling character who was always in pursuit of none other than Snidely Whiplash. Snidely and Dudley had a common interest in the very beautiful Nell Fenwick 
who seemed to find herself tied to railway tracks most of the time. An interesting tidbit, the Canadian authorities actually banned the program from being aired in Canada as it was felt it portrayed the RCMP in a poor light. Well, this week's winners were Miss Senior and Hunter Wilson. Congratulations on being up on your Canadian history. Now, over to Zyler to tell our listeners what they've won. Thank you, Mr. St. Marie. Yes, every good police officer must be properly equipped to do their job. So, you're both now the proud owners of your own set of handcuffs. Yes, friends, don't be fooled by the cheap dollar store imitations. These are real McCoy handcuffs that will keep you captive under control. Made from real Canadian steel, mined from the Canadian shield. How much more Canadian can it get? These cuffs come with two keys. Yes, that's right, two keys. You'll never be attached to someone for too long. Just don't lose the keys. Congratulations to our winners, Miss Senior and Hunter Wilson. And although he would never mention it on air himself, I think it's important to congratulate Radio Rams' very own Mr. St. Marie on his retirement from a very successful teaching career. He was even the feature of a London Free Press article this past weekend. There will be a link in the description for those wanting to check it out online. Thank you, Mr. St. Marie, for all of your contributions to Laurier over the past 30 years. Now... Back to you, Mr. St. Marie, with this week's edition of Name That Tune. Thanks, Tyler. Well, I hope you had a chance to see the snowbirds as they passed over the city today at 145. They'll be flying out at 415 today, heading west as part of their inspirational cross-Canada tour. Up next is this week's Name That Tune. Here it comes. <laughs> If you recognize that tune, Ram, send your answer into ramlandnews at gmail.com. That's ramlandnews at gmail.com, and we'll announce the winners next week. Well, the world of online learning will continue to be our normal for some time to come, Rams. And while we wish we could just get back to normal right now, the words of King George VI seem timely. Well, after just two months of isolation, social distancing, and washing our hands way too often, we're feeling a little fed up. Yet I'm reminded that the Allied forces had to endure a new normal for six years, and then decades of recovery would follow. Here's part of what the King had to say 75 years ago last Friday. We kept our faith with ourselves and with one another. We kept faith and unity with our great allies. That faith and unity have carried us to victory through dangers which at times seemed overwhelming. And the Queen said, at the start, the outlook seemed bleak, the end distant, the outcome uncertain. But we kept faith that the cause was right, and this belief, as my father noted in his broadcast, carried us through. Never give up, never despair. That was the message from BE Day 75 years ago. Well, those words still ring true today, Rams. So let's stand firm in our faith and do what needs to be done. Let's stay focused. Let's do some schoolwork each day. And with a long weekend just around the corner, Rams, please remember to make good choices about how you spend your time and who you spend it with. We look forward to seeing you all back safe and sound next week with another edition of Radio Rams. Bye for now. <laughs>